afternoon everybody it is Wednesday October 9th two days before my birthday I'm on my way to work to start at 1 it's about 12 15 so I'm gonna try to get there early enough so I can go out and uh, get some water because I'm allowed to have water with me while I stand where I have to stand so that's good I can drink water all day also means that you know I gotta ask for a little bit more time to go to the restroom which you know it isn't far but still you know when I'm the only one there it, you know we're not supposed to leave the doors unmanned so anyway so I ate breakfast about 9 30 and I ate my lunch about 15 minutes ago because I thought I'm gonna eat my lunch before I go that way you know I will have enough food in me by the time I leave tonight then hopefully I won't feel hungry at 10 o'clock tonight and if I'm able to drink water all day long that will help too so showed you what I brought for lunch and I'll show you what I had for, I mean what I brought for my snacks and my dinner break which is a late dinner so um, and I have enough points available that, you know, if I want a bag of chips out of the vending machine, I can get one. The baked chips. Um, yeah, so I think I'll be okay. I'm still trying to figure all this out. My scale was up again today. It, I mean, yesterday it was 199.2. Today it was 199.4. So... Still 0.2 below what I was last week. I don't know. I think it's just going to take a while for my body to adjust to my new working hours. I kind of wanted more of a cushion because I know I'm going out for dinner and lunch on my birthday. Well, at least lunch. I don't know about dinner yet. So, yesterday I got seven quarts of tomato juice and six pints, I thought I only had five, but I had six pints of tomato sauce. I want to tell you, that sauced up so nice. It's nice, thick tomato sauce. And um, I still have those two boxes that I need to chop up. I don't know that I'll get to them tonight. Um, I probably won't since I, it's going to be close to 11 o'clock by the time I get home. So, um, to be honest with you, I'm probably not going to get to them until Friday. And then I'll decide if I'm just going to can them. You know, like chop, you know, diced tomatoes. Or, uh, I think that's what I'd like to do. Uh, it's kind of less time consuming, except for then I have to blanch the tomatoes, you know, and get the skins off. Uh, you know, it is what it is, but... I mean, it's shorter, shorter time-wise in the long run, <clears throat> because if I do some another batch of sauce, which with my batch of sauce that I did previously and this sauce, I've got, a six, a, I've got about 14 or 15 pints of sauce right now. So, and I don't typically use a whole lot of sauce unless I'm having spaghetti. And then again, it's just me, so I don't use a lot. So that's quite a, that's quite a bit of sauce. And the juice I just use for, um, you know, making soups and stuff. So I've got plenty of juice. Because I think I got nine in my first batch. And I got seven this time. So that's 16 altogether. I've got plenty of that. I think I'm going to go for just the diced tomatoes. Because I will use that to make soups also. So. Like I said, you know, I'll have to blanch them. But in the long run, it will still be less time and depending on what size jar I put them in I put them in pints I, I have to look to see how you know what my how many jars I have but uh, I could do quarts for the dice with tomatoes that'd be okay I 
know I have one case of unopened in quartz and I have a key, one extra quart jar. So I've got right now I got 13 empty quart jars and I've got at least one case of 12 of pints and I don't know how many pints are left. sitting at 12 points, well really only 11 because I haven't had my second cup of coffee yet. I brought it with me. I'm going to count it as I'm having it. I'll probably end up drinking this cold. But um, I think I'll go grab the post office. Got to go that way anyhow. Um, and then after I have my dinner, and all my snacks that I brought. It's three more points. So that takes me to 15 points for the day. Which, you know, that's okay. That's about what I've been doing. And like I said, if I pull a bag of chips out of the vending machine again, that's that would take me up to 19 points. Which is doable. I just don't want, because I'm working in a later shift, I don't want to get into the habit of eating late because I have to be back in at 1 o'clock tomorrow. And I know when I get home, I'm going to go to bed. So I don't want to eat. My last break is at 8 o'clock. So I'll have my lightest snack then. Which, I don't know. It's probably the celery and the peanut butter. I got the PB2. Um, so my last break is at 8 o'clock. I get off at 10. And I don't want to have you know anything heavy in my stomach by the time I get home. I know the last, the other day when I worked till 10 o'clock, I was pretty tired by the time I got home. Now, I didn't get up today until about, it was about 8.30 when I got up. And I only got up then because the dog needed to go out and the cat was yelling at me for not getting up and giving him his treats. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably would have slept until 9 or 10. Um, but, you know, it takes me a couple hours to get ready, eat breakfast and everything, so... And I want to be wide awake when I go into work. So. Anyway. I'm thinking out loud here. I did have a good day on plan. I have no idea why my scale was up 0.2 today. Um, I drank more water yesterday. Uh, I don't know. My body hates me right now. I think it's still... A, I think my body's adjusting to my time skate stay my time schedule my my new sleep schedule and the weight loss that I've had so it's gonna even out this did I remember it this happened to me before about a year ago it was in November I had a big huge loss I lost like 11 pounds in November last year and then I I barely lost anything until March I certainly hope that doesn't happen I did walk Emily around or Emily. I did walk Molly around the pond a couple times this morning. Um, I already have four flights of stairs in. And you know, I work clear up at the front of the store, so to get clocked in and everything, I have to walk clear to the back of the store. Um, you know, a couple times. So I'm I do get steps in at work. And I'm making a point of walking around my station, so I'm not standing still because you know, standing still is going to kill my back. But I bought, brought, I'm wearing my better tennis shoes today, so I have a little bit more lift on, you know, on these shoes. And uh, after I get a couple paychecks under my belt, I'm probably going to get a really good pair of shoes. So I'm going to pull on the post office here quick and check my mail. Um, I'm not 
not really expecting anything, but I got a message that I do have mail over here. It's probably just bills. So, anyway, that's where I'm at right now. I'm on my way to work and I'm sitting at 12 points, which is, you know, it's good. So, I decided to eat lunch. I'll tell you about that after I get my mail. No bills. Junk mail and Torrid coupons, which I don't uh, fit into anything at Torrid anymore. So I'll be passing those on to somebody that can use them. I like the clothes from Torrid, but uh, everything that I've bought from Torrid no longer fits. And last time I was in there, I was already in the smallest size. And that was just at the beginning of summer. So, anyway, I think I already told you why I decided to eat lunch before I went to work. So, I just, you know, I want to get my heavier meals out of the way. And I don't get a break until 3 o'clock. And I, you know, technically I probably could have waited to eat lunch. I only get a 15 minute break at 3 though. My big dinner break is at 5. So, that's when I'm going to eat my chicken. Uh, I decided just to go ahead and eat my lunch before I went in because I knew I wasn't going to have another chance to eat anything, a snack or anything, until 3 o'clock. And by then I'll need a snack. So, um, I'll probably eat that cheese stick and those uh, almonds. which is more likely <laughs> it's 12 30 now and I'm not sure I'm gonna have the time to go get my water before I start work. so anyway I'm not gonna belabor this let me show you um, my breakfast and then I'll show you what I what I brought for the rest of my meals and you know you'll, you'll have seen everything Unless I said, you know, like I said, unless I decide to get some of the vending machine, which I'm going to try to stay away from. In the break room, people have been bringing in donuts and all kinds of stuff. So, there is a big box of apples somebody brought in. So, if the apples are still there and I feel like I need something else, like, I'll grab one of those. But, when I saw those donuts there the other day, I thought, oh man, don't tempt me like this. Because I love donuts. But the one box the other day was like the really nice bakery donuts. And yesterday, the donuts, or not yesterday, the day before yesterday, the donuts that were in there were like those little mini chocolate covered donuts, which I don't really care for those. I guess those are all right because I'm not really tempted by those. Although in a pinch, if I'm, you know, needing something sweet, that's what the apples are there for, right? All right, let me show you what I what I ate for breakfast and all my other stuff, and then I'll be back later, I hope, to wrap things up. All right, I have a couple hours before I go to work, so I'm having a bowl of oatmeal for my breakfast, four points for the oatmeal. There's a half a cup of almond milk unsweetened for zero, some strawberries for zero, and about an eighth of a cup of sugar-free maple syrup for zero. That's four points. I have two points in my coffee, so it's a six-point breakfast. All right, I want to show you what I'm taking to work today, if I can get the sun out of here. Um, for snacks, I've got uh, some carrots or some celery sticks, and I'm going to pair that with some PB2, so that'll be one point. And then I have a cheese stick and seven almonds for another snack, and that's two points. And my dinner is, I've got leftover chicken uh, from last night. It's about three and a half ounces of chicken in there. And some fat-free cheddar that I'm, uh, for, I think the fat-free cheddar is one point. It might be zero. 28 grams. It might be zero. And then um, I have a couple of grapes. And I think what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to buy two of the hard-boiled eggs that are already made up. 
uh, from the deli and add it to this to give me a little bit more protein. And that's it. So it'll be pretty much a zero point dinner. And my snacks are one, two, three points in snacks. So right now I've got six points. I'm going to eat lunch before I go, and I think my lunch is about six points. So that will take me up to about 15 points for the day. Having a light lunch before I head into work. Um, one English muffin, which untrimmed weighed out at only 54 grams, so that's two points. Uh, two slices of the Kroger Canadian bacon for one point, and I've got a quarter cup or one ounce of uh, skim mozzarella on this for three points. So one, two, three, four, five, six points for lunch. Well, I just got back from work and it is going on 11 o'clock at night. I already took the dog out. Now Harvey has to spend some time with, with me. Uh, so the cookie monster hit tonight. When I went on my dinner break, I was kind of still hungry. I went out to buy my two eggs. I told you I was going to buy it. I did that. But I also got a package of cookies. In the back of my mind, I was thinking there's this kid in the break room that I know he didn't have any money with him. And he was hungry. And I thought, I'm going to take these cookies back there to see if maybe he wants the cookies. Which I did, but not until after I ate four of them. That racked up 27 points because I did put it in my tracker. I did count it. And I still have 13 points weeklies left. But it took my daily total up to 52. The day before weighing. So I don't know what the scale will do tomorrow. Uh, that being said, I did have uh, four miles in today. So I, uh, if I swap my fit points, I have like uh, 33 or 35 fit points left. If, you know, if I swap, you know, the daily points first, then I'm down to 13 weeklies left. So we'll see what happens. I can't believe I did that the week before weigh in. When I took my evening break, it was after 8 o'clock, I didn't even eat my other snack. So, well, I forgot to take those off my tracker. So, uh, no, I didn't put them in my tracker. Okay. So I didn't eat my other snack, which would have been the PB2. It's only a point. And then I removed one of the points I had for my coffee today because I only drank one cup of coffee. I never did get to my second cup of coffee. So, um, anyway, I have to work again tomorrow, same time, 1 to 10, and my feet are killing me. I knew it was going to be an adjustment, uh, but kind of like toward the end of the day is really when my legs really start hurting and my feet start hurting. Um, other than that, it's fine. I was very busy today. The store was really busy today. So um, that keeps my mind off of a lot of things, you know. I, I did more walking for some reason today. I don't know why. But anyway, one more day of work and then I get another day off. So that's good. I'm not going to deal with my tomatoes tonight because I'm too tired. I wanna, I'm going to get this video up and then I'm hitting the, be hitting the sack because I am exhausted. And I think Harvey wants to snuggle. <laughs> Yep, they're all with me. So I got home and I walked Molly once around the pond. And that's all my legs could take. So I don't know how many floors I have today. I think I have five or six floors today. But um, almost 10,000 steps. I think I'm 300 steps short of 10,000 today. Um, I don't even care because <laughs> I'm tired. So... All right, well, that's going to be it for me today. Um, other than the cookies, and they were just sugar cookies, but, you know. Like, oh, like I said, I did track them. Oh, <laughs> Harvey. So, you know, at least I did that part. Um, 
other than that, I stayed on plan. So I think tomorrow I'm going to take some yogurt with, you know, with some berries in it or something to kind of satisfy my sweet tooth. Uh, there was no reason for me to buy cookies because there was fresh fruit in the in the break room. I don't know why I did it. So, I didn't win over my addiction tonight. Four cookies. I should have figured out the points before I ate them all. So, but oh well. Hopefully that the amount of exercise I got counteracted, you know, those 27 points for those cookies. <laughs> so, I'll see you tomorrow. I, you know, I'll show you again what I've taken to, you know, to eat while I'm at work. This night schedule, I like the, I like working the late, the later schedule. But, um, it's just throwing my eating all off kilter. So I'm going to have to just get used to it because this is pretty much my normal schedule. So, all right, guys, I will see you tomorrow with another what I ate. Bye-bye.